Hey guys, this is RLC321's Fantastic Plastic back again with another model build. No, it's not even an update, it's an unboxing. Actually, two unboxings. One I'm a little bit disappointed about, which I'll get to you in a bit. The other one, which I'm actually quite excited about, especially being as I sold quite a lot of them. So, the first bit of good news. See what that says there? Oh, by the way, if the, the sound sounds horrible, it's because currently I'm using my webcam um, head for a microphone because my microphone at the moment, my laptop that I'm currently using in the shed here, doesn't have um, the support for a microphone. But I've got this from Revelle in Germany. This should be what I was waiting for, for the... Um, Oh, you, you really the Kazon Radar. What? There is nothing else in there, is there? That is an airplane part. Or for a tail part of the airplane, the side part of an airplane. It's not even for the Kazon. What? What? I, I, I don't. That is not what I wanted. That is not the picture I took of the part that I took for them for them to see. Because you have to send a pic, the picture of the part that's broken, so they can see it. That doesn't look anything like it. What? If? Freaking waste of time that was. Right. Revelle Germany, you suck. I'll need to contact them, see if they can sort it out. That means waiting again and again and again for it. I mean, as you can see, in the shed, I've got almost two A3 sizes of cutting boards. That's how much room I've got load of room here i'm loving it this is really i'm gonna on on this video I'll, i will also put on a very quick snippet and have it so you can have a look around <clears throat> a little tour kind of thing of the of how everything looks up I'm, I'm hoping the lighting is gonna is working really really well okay so here is the new man cave let's open the door and Got all everything that I pretty much need. Managed to get my chair in. Had to take the arms off, but I managed to get my chair in. Laptop's gonna go just here. The camera, I haven't figured out where I'm gonna put the camera yet, but there you go. Made some, gotta make some shelves as well. There. Main workstation, bigger area to work with now. Lots of light, and I've also got a little bit over here that I can work on as well when I'm doing airbrushing. I can pull the door shut. Put a, little, put a little handle on there, well, so I can close it. And new LED light, as well as I've got my normal one right there. And I tell you, it is that LED light up here. Very, very bright. Very bright. I'm loving it. I can actually use this to cool myself down as well. <laughs> yeah, because it comes out really cold, cool. The only thing I do need to get is another extension to put over this way, because the wire just doesn't reach. So there you go, there's... And I need to buy a new compressor, because at the minute, all I've got is that pissy little thing because it's my compressor down here is broken there's all my paints just under there easy access i can move around in here with my chair yeah so i've got much much bigger workspace to work on now see you soon the other unboxing is actually an unbagging it 
Here it is. In all its glory. Now, I had to sell a lot of my Gundam kits and um, pretty much every single... Excuse me, please. Every single one of my Gundam kits. I had to sell them because I, I just couldn't... Um, couldn't store them anymore. They were un a lot of them were unbuilt, so I just just sold them off dirt cheap. But there was a few that I do miss that I wished I hadn't sold. But I can't go back on that now. But what I can do is get some of the bits, some of the ones that I want, and just order them again. Now, as I said, because I'm getting them again, I'm just going to get nasty. Cheaper nasty ones, I'm not going because I can't afford to buy Bandai unless I can find Bandai cheap somewhere, then I will buy, buy Bandai or Kota Bakuya or something like that. But, so, here we go. See that? that no, no, not finished, not finished. Where did I put that Kenefi? There it is. So obviously in, in post, when I edit it, edit this video, I'm going to have to try and play around with my sound to hopefully that it will sound good. Yeah, let's get rid of you. Let's put you under there for now. Right. And lots of plastic. Can't see any bits that have fallen out. I'll show you what it is in a minute. I'm just having a taking all of these and just putting them aside. There are lots of parts have broken off here, which are just in there. And it does I'm checking for holes, making sure nothing's fallen out. And of course there's a piece of tape on there, that's not good. There is that should be okay. It's a little bit of a rip there, but there was no parts in the thing. But we'll soon find out when we put this bad boy together. And this here is what we've got the Liga Zero Jaeger by Black Knight. So lots of plastic here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to use um, well, my Voyager box to store these in so I don't lose any more. But I mean, it looks to be pretty darn good on the detail front. I wonder how many trades are we supposed to have? Let's see if we can count them. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, can't, op can't open it, 20, no my neck, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 40, I'm not counting that. So 40 trees, it looks like. Yep, 40 trees. So I can see two gold, one orange. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. And you should be able to see the detail there. The fit will probably be shit, but you will see the detail. That's seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and the twelve, yep, twelve, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 22, 
34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So all the trees are there, which is good, which is a good thing. Right, so let's have a little look at this. Now, the only other problem is, oh, wait a minute. Yes, I should be able to. I should be able to go into there. Let me just click on this for the moment. Click on configure video. There we go. Move that over there. And then I can close that. And bring you back up. Thank you. Now I'm just going to zoom it in a little bit. Right. <coughs> no, this way. This way. That's it. Yeah. This way. Legal. Let's do it that way so you can actually see, even though I'm looking at it upside down. Well, I don't suppose that bloody well matters, does it really? So, so it's oh, it's actually got English as well as the Chinese. That's nice. So we've got a nice picture of the the Liga, Liga, however you want to call it. Nice picture. Obviously, this is all going to be painted and, and, and detailed and everything as well, so that's going to look good. Some gumph regarding the head unit. And then some more gumph regarding the body unit. Obviously, all of the parts. It has here, hero, weapon, chest, waist, foreleg, rear leg. So hero, I'm guessing, is the head. So head, weapons, the chest, the waist, the front legs and the rear legs on the build cycle. All what you should do and what you shouldn't do with it. All down there. And then obviously putting it all together. I mean, that's, that's, this is, is this all for the head? Really? Oh, that must be the neck. Uh, yeah, so that's that's the head here, which then gets connected onto that, which I'm guessing is the body, or part of the body. Oh, you got a little dude going inside that, so no, no, that is the head there. So then you go onto the body, all right, which is again very detailed. Then we go onto the legs, obviously, times two. And then the rear legs times two, 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 not one, two. Nice. And there we go. Then onto the tail, the waist parts as well. Some more detailing parts, the weapon systems. Some more legs. Goodness me, that's an awful lot to this kit. A lot more than I expected. And then obviously how it all opens up and opens out and everything like that. Okay, some more information. Oh, right, hang on over here. Some some gump on the flying system, and some more gump on the booster launchers. And obviously we've got our color callouts here: cobalt blue, red. Oh no, it's a mix of cobalt blue, black, and carmine. This is the red, maroon, and white. I'm guessing that the Chinese writing in there is the um, the amounts you have to put in. But obviously, I don't have that. Okay, so that's fine. That's fine. It's all good. Black, the golds, oranges, blues, yellows, gunmetal, silver, and browns. So yeah, and this is what it looks like when it's all built. Also, you can show it off as just the inner frame without putting the armor pieces on as well. Oh, that's nice. That is very nice. And so there we go. And that is the Liga Zero Jaeger. It's a 172 all in full scale action plastic. Yeah, obviously, I'm not going to be having it all plastic and action -y. It's just going to be plasticky, not actiony. Yeah, I don't, I don't do action poses or anything like that. That's not worth it. But guys, there you go. That's the disappointment in the Revell Germany there, which is a bit of a shame. But what can you do? What can you do? I can't really do much else about it. Um, as I say, it's a relatively short video. I 
I obviously I haven't put a lot of videos out at the moment because being in here you know I've only this, this is my first video in my new shed and everything is all nice and up and running and kind of working except for my microphone which I will have to sort out I'll have to order one a USB to plug the microphone adapter into it and then plug it in and then everything will be fine but until then guys I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one take care of yourselves bye bye now